The zero to the Thayer way belt is very simple. The operator hits the calibration button. The top calibration menus, he hits normal cal. He follows the English language prompts, which guides him through the calibration. Tells him how long it's been since he's done a calibration. Press yes to proceed. Is the scale unloaded? If it is, and he says yes, it'll immediately check the belt speed and run through its zero calibration. If the operator says yes and the belt is loaded, it will abort the calibration at that point. After a preset amount of belt travel, in this case probably one circuit, it'll display the zero error. You can see the rolling average of the belt in the lower left hand corner. The error is minus point zero one, 14 feet of belt travel. I'm sorry, 9.3 feet of belt travel, 14 seconds to do a cal. Does he want to adjust the error? If he says no, they ask if he wants to do a NAS found error calibration, which is basically a span calibration. Presses yes. The test weight has been activated. The instrument checks to make sure the proper test weight has been applied to the weight belt. It allows a settling time. At the end of that settling time, it will run through the calibration, the span calibration. In this case, it's an as-found error because we did not adjust the zero cal. If we had adjusted the zero calibration, it would have been a span calibration, not an as-found error calibration. In this case, the as-found error is the combined error in the system. That minus 0.01, the zero was at, plus whatever span error we have, which is 0.1%. We'll press yes, then adjust both errors. Press yes to repeat, and we'll run back to another calibration. The operator does not have to stick his hands in between the strands of the belt to put the test weight on. The test weight is applied automatically to the pneumatic cylinder. Very simple and easy. The English language prompts guide the operator through the calibration. And uh, there's no symbols or language he wouldn't understand. We're going to say no, we don't want to adjust that error. We don't want to verify. The test weight has been deactivated. The load number will go back to zero. When it does, it tells you the calibration is complete. Press yes to exit and there's our normal screen. End the calibration.